Having a child with Dravet syndrome takes a toll on the entire family. There's not a minute that goes by when we as parents are not considering what could happen. That with every seizure, we're wondering, is this the seizure that will take him away from us? There's not a lot of neurologists who specialize in this disease. I have different expectations for her, and now that I have the diagnosis, I, I know how precious everything is, every moment is with her. It does the everyday things that you want your child to do and enjoy as a family. There is, it's all gone. It's very much a difficult piece of medical news that individuals go through stages of acceptance for and with, and it's it's a long road, and no step along that road is easy to take. She's internationally recognized for the first description of severe myoclonic epilepsy of infancy in 1978, which now bears her name, Dravet syndrome, which is recognized as one of the most severe genetically based epilepsies in childhood. In 1978, we discovered an epileptic syndrome of unknown etiology, different from other epileptic encephalopathies. In 2010, we know this syndrome is due to a channelopathy, which causes a complex epilepsy and a more or less severe cognitive impairment of which the factors are still unclear. Okay. When I uh, come in uh, the United States, I see there is more uh, uh, progress in the knowledge of this disease. And now a patient can go uh, to these hospitals uh, and have uh, good uh, care. Uh, uh, in the Miami Children's Hospital as in other in your country. Trevet syndrome is one form of epilepsy. Um, epilepsy means that a person has had more than one seizure in their life that was unprovoked. Trevet is an inherited problem uh, that causes seizures, and it's one of the few inherited problems that we can identify with a blood test. And it definitely is a matter of uh, being in a position of wanting to control the seizures as much as possible and trying to strike the best balance between uh, seizure control and risks and side effects of medication. We learned that Madison had Dravet syndrome when she was five years old. Uh, we went to many different doctors and we thought she just had intractable epilepsy and that one day she would, if we got the right medicine, one day she would just wake up and be better. She is only developmentally two years old Happy. and you're your dreams change when you find out your child is never going to grow up to be a typical child. So it's great to be able to um, come to one place where the doctors are coming in and we don't have to go sit in many different waiting rooms waiting for them. It's been a great experience for us to have a facility that the doctors come to us and give us all the care at one time and one place. We didn't find out, we just went everywhere, looking everywhere for an answer at first. And then when we found out about the diagnosis, it was heartbreaking because we knew, and I still want to cry today, and I always keep it in my heart, but it's still there. Sorry. <laughs> to me, with all the knowledge that the people have here and they tell me, it's made it a lot easier for me. A lot. Especially me coming from Tampa, all the, seeing all the physician at once, it's remarkable because as it is, her medical is really expensive and just, you know, the traveling here is another expense. So seeing them all at one time saves me time, money, and a lot of headaches, but it's great. It's great to see them all together at once. So you wanna say cheese? Cheese. Right say right on. <laughs> Well, with Dravet syndrome, there are a lot of particulars with that disease state that are very specialized, and we've been to places like uh, Birmingham, to Atlanta, uh, and even one other area here in Miami, and we just feel like the care here is much more specialized. It's very patient-focused. It's obvious to us that they're very 
dedicated to caring for the patients here and they, you know, they understand the special needs that DeVay's children have. You get to see the neurologist, the genetics doctor, um, the neuropsych, all in one place. So you feel like, and they come to you. You don't have to go around. You stay in one room, you come to, they come to you, and everybody's just really nice. It's, it's almost like a family here, really. Uh, you meet other parents with the same problems that you're going through, and you have time to inter interact with them and maybe learn a little bit of how they're handling things. Um, it's just, it's just nice. Uh, I would be willing to travel a long way to see the right doctor, and that's what we feel like we have here.